there is significant protection with the first shot, it's vital that everybody gets the second shot. So you get the long-term protection and the best protection. And of course, you need to get the same vaccine. You can't get Pfizer one time and Moderna the second time. Um, there are very sophisticated tracking mechanisms as well as um, in, uh, important incentives, uh, financial incentives for those who are providing the vaccines to make sure they get the second vaccine into the same person. They'll be much more rewarded for the second vaccine than the first, and they'll be much more rewarded for the second vaccine than the first. Um, so again, um, do, you know, remember, it's not the same thing because of the cold chain, but we've already distributed 180 million flu vaccines this year. Distributing vaccines is something we do and do pretty well every year. The differences here are the selected populations and as you pointed out, the cold chain, which is which is a challenge, but it's not like delivering this to sub-Saharan Africa. Um, we have we know where every single freezer in the country is. We have all the dry ice done. It's going to be door-to-door -door service uh, from places like FedEx and UPS. Um, so you know we're we're very confident in this distribution mechanism to get to the people and have that cold chain cold chain done. And again, we're down to the micro planning level. Where does each hundred vaccine doses go and, and how do they get distributed? Many states will be using the National Guard. Um, it's not for distribution, but to actually help people put needles in people's arms, but to actually help people put needles in people's arms, put needles in people's arms.